For those of you having a little bit of a difficulty with the mail merging exercise, I'm going to try and help you with that. This shouldn't take too, too long, maybe 10 minutes at the most to show you all of the ins and outs, but the gist of it you should be able to get in about three minutes here. So what you do is you download the letter, open it up. Here it is. It's got sort of spacing here, or it's a setup so that you can put in your fields, basically your information. This is under the assumption that if you had a thousand records in your database, a thousand people, that you wouldn't have to type this letter a thousand times. You'll have the mail merge read the information from the database and apply it to each one of these letters and then just send them out, print them out, remail them out, whatever you want to do. Now, we've got that. The, the other thing we need to do is we need to open up, basically download the Excel file. So you'll download it and you'll open it up. Once you do that, it'll look something like this. Add your name to it. You can fake your information. We don't need your information. We just want to see that it's working. And once you've done that, save it somewhere. Ideal your student drive. And it doesn't matter if you rename it or whatever, just save it somewhere. I'm going to save it on the U drive. I'm not even going to worry about the name here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put a lower hyphen so that it shows up at the very top. I won't need that file after I'm done with this exercise. Once you've done that, you're going to go through the mail merging process. So what you do in Word is you're going to go to Mailings. You're going to go to Start Mail Merge. Now, you could do it with letters here, but ideally, the first time, you'll go through the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So here we go. What type of document are you working on? Letters? Perfect. Next, starting document. Use the current document or start from an existing document that we've saved somewhere. In our case, we'll use the, ex the current document, the one that's up on the screen. Now, select recipients. Use an existing list or type a new list. So we could create a new list, but we're not going to. We're going to use an existing list. That's the database in the Excel file. So we're going to go find it. Browse. Recall where you've saved it to. In my case, I saved it on the U drive. And it should show up if I had stuff named. If I had stuff named appropriately, it'll be just below my folders. So here it is. Now, if it doesn't open up, make sure that you don't already have it opened up. If you do, close it and then find it. In this case here, I'm going to select this sheet. Here's all my information, including my own name. OK, that's what I want. Perfect. Now I'm going to write my letter. And this is where you're going to insert information on this page that will tell it what information to read from uh, the database. So I'm going to insert a merge field here. What merge fields should go? Well, we're going, to have say, we're going to have it say something like, Dear Mr. Steves. So we'll have the title, space, and last name. And we can put a comma if we wanted to. Then we're going to use the school name. So I'm going to get rid of school name. I can just delete it. Insert a merge field, school. Make sure that the spacing is right. So if I didn't have this right, I'm going to leave this one without a space. So you'll see what will happen if I mess it up. I'll put the other ones in, insert merge field school, I'll put a space there, the recipient's first name, first name, and then on behalf of the school name here. So insert the school, I'll put in the period again, and I'll show you what happens if we don't have a space here. We're going to preview the letter, see what it looks like. This looks good except for this. So if this happens and you made a mistake, go back to previous, put that space in. Now go back to next preview your letters. This is recipient one. If you click up here, you can look at recipient two, recipient three, recipient four, and so on. So this should tell you that you'd have six letters uh, generated from the merge. So I'm going to complete the merge. In our case, we're completing the merge so that we can save those letters and put them in the Dropbox. Some people send it right to the printer, but don't do that. We'll go to Edit Individual Letter. All of the records 
OK. And it creates a new Word document with one page. If you're concerned about the background color, that's something you can change. But what you want at the end of the day is to have six letters. And to put that in the Dropbox, you're going to want to save that. So save it under the name that was uh, asked of you. I'll just save it on my desktop. But save it as the name that was asked of you, not the one that I'm typing in here. And that's the one you're going to want to put in the Dropbox. If you were concerned about the background color and it's really bothering you, just go to Page Layout. Sorry, go to Design. Go to Page Color. And pick one of those background colors if that's what you want.